This is the story of a girl named Lisa. One day, a man entered her house and brutally killed her mother by cutting her. Lisa hid herself and saved herself. But after that day, she started to feel scared. The woman who married Lisa's dad, Lisa's stepmother, had a bad attitude towards Lisa. However, her daughter, Lisa's stepsister, was very nice to her. But Lisa couldn't get along with her stepsister. Lisa started spending a lot of time in the graveyard, where her mother's grave was. She used to sit on a young boy's grave, and share her sorrows with him. The boy, who had died a long time ago, was a musician when he was alive. The girl he fell in love with betrayed him. In his grief, he was sitting in the same graveyard. At night, a green light that shines in the storm fell on him. And thus, he died. In those years, Lisa was the first girl, who used to come to his grave and talk to him. It is shown that today, Lisa had to go to a party with her sister. When Lisa was getting ready, her sister told her, Go to my tanning bed and tan yourself. Darken your body a little. Quote, Lisa listened to her and went. But there was something wrong with this bed. Lisa got an electric shock when she lay in the bed. However, she still went to the party, where her sister was busy with her friends, and Lisa was alone. Here, a boy mixed something in her juice, and then tried to misbehave with her. Then Lisa ran away from there. She was very saddened by this incident. She sat on this boy's grave in grief. She said, I wish you were with me. Quote, saying this, Lisa had come to her house. And it is shown in the background that today, there were green clouds in the sky again. She came home. Lisa was so angry that she broke a mirror in her house. And while doing this, we see a green light falling from the sky in the graveyard. This light fell on the boy's grave, with whom Lisa used to talk. And now that boy was alive which no one knows yet. Anyway, it is shown that when Lisa woke up, her stepmom scolded her a lot, because she broke the glass of the house at night. She asked for the money for the glass. Although Lisa did not do any job, her dad also did not support her, and so Lisa had to do a part-time job to pay for the loss. When she came home, she saw that everyone had eaten, and they were going to watch a movie. Lisa's sister also asked her to come along. But Lisa refused because she was tired. And after they left, she turned on a horror movie and sat down. At this time, someone suddenly entered her house, who seemed to be a ghost or a zombie to Lisa. To save herself, she sometimes ran here and sometimes there. And finally decided to climb the roof. By climbing the roof, she had failed. And she fell on the same ghost. From which a green liquid came out. And fell on Lisa. From the shower in the garden, the dirt came off this boy and he came into the house. Lisa was not able to recognize him. Then the boy tells her in gestures, that I am the same grave man, with whom you used to talk, and I am alive because of your same wish, in which you said that you wish I were with you. Lisa still did not understand anything, but it was more important to bathe this man than to understand, because there was a very bad smell on him. Here we can see that this man does not have a hand, and at the same time, he has shown Lisa, that he does not even have a tongue. When he comes out of the shower, Lisa sees that he does not even have an ear. That man explains to Lisa that I need your help, to find all my body parts. Before they could say anything, Lisa's family comes back home. But the condition of the house was very bad, to save from this zombie. Things were lying here and there, and some of them were broken. Lisa's stepmother believed that Lisa did all this on purpose. She tells her husband, Lisa's dad, that your daughter has gone crazy, and now we will leave her in the mental asylum. Lisa tries to tell him a lot, that all this happened because of that creature, which had entered their house, but she was not listened to by anyone. The creature was listening to everything in the room, after which poor Lisa goes to sleep crying, and that creature goes to sleep in Lisa's cupboard. In the morning, that creature gives Lisa a dress. After wearing it, she comes to college with a lot of confidence, because for the first time, she feels, she is not alone. She also has a companion in this world. Here the boy who used to like Lisa, also tries to talk to Lisa. But at this place, Lisa's sister comes, and takes the boy away from Lisa, because she believes that this boy is not good for Lisa. Anyway, now the scene is cut. The next day, we are shown, that when Lisa's mother was eating, at that time, in anger, that creature, puts an insect in Lisa's mother's food, because he did not like Lisa's mother at all. 
she used to do some kind of cruelty to Lisa at all times. Looking at this insect, this woman feels that all this is Lisa's mischief. And now she decides the first thing she'll do is to make Lisa leave for the madhouse. Although she had to go to a conference today, she cancels everything to make Lisa leave the madhouse. When she comes to Lisa's room to take Lisa and starts bad-mouthing her, then that creature hits something from above and kills this woman. Lisa is scared to see this, but she was not very sad because she did not like this woman from the beginning. This creature had now cut this woman's ear. What do they do with this corpse? So the creature and Lisa pull this corpse and bring her to the same grave from which this creature came out alive. The corpse was put in its place. Now coming home, this creature tells Lisa that stitched this woman's ear with my body. Lisa also stitched this ear, but there was no use of this ear because this creature was not able to hear through this ear. Then this creature makes a lightning mark on Lisa's hand, making her understand that this ear will only work when he gets a current. Lisa now remembers her sister's tanning bed because of which she also got a current at the start of the movie. She puts that creature in that bed and starts styling her hair. It is clear that Lisa is very happy and confident. And all this is happening because of this creature, whom she considers her friend. When this creature comes out of the tanning bed, it is known that the ear she had stitched has also started working. Now, Lisa goes to college happily the next day. After seeing Lisa's style and confidence, a lot of people started liking her. She became very famous in college. And all this happened in a few days. Taking advantage of this popularity, Lisa befriended that boy, who tried to misbehave with Lisa at the start of the movie. She was doing this friendship to take revenge. Because now you are seeing, that Lisa has brought this boy to that graveyard, where that creature is already present. This creature very mercilessly holds this boy's hand and cuts it. He did this because he didn't have a hand. After taking his hand, that boy dies. These people buried him in the same graveyard and come back home. Like before, Lisa stitches this hand with this creature's arm, after which the creature lies in the tanning bed to take current. And his hand also starts working like a normal person's hand. After the hand gets better, this boy plays the piano for Lisa. As we know, he was a musician in his past life. Lisa was very happy with all this. Gradually, these people became good friends and came very close. Lisa was very happy with this. While on the other hand, her family was very worried. Because there was no whereabouts of her mom for a long time. At first, her dad and sister thought. That her mom had gone to a conference. But when she didn't return from there for a long time. And when these people found out. They discovered that she didn't even go to that conference. Lisa's dad had already informed the police about all this. And this thing also worried Lisa. She tells this boy that they have committed two murders. You are a creature, she says, who will catch you. And the police won't let me go. If not today, then tomorrow the police will catch me. And after a few days, I might even die. Quote, she tells this boy, but before she dies, she wants to fulfill one of her wishes. One of which was that she wants to spend one day with her friend. Thinking this, she goes to her college. And finds out that her friend didn't come today. Along with that, the news of her other classmates' death spreads there. That is, the news of the boy's death, which Lisa and her creature had killed. To investigate it, the police also came to the college. A lot of people were suspicious of Lisa. At the last party, this boy mixed something in Lisa's drink and also tried to misbehave with her. That's why a lot of people were suspicious that Lisa must be behind her death. But the police didn't get any clue after the investigation. And that's how Lisa was saved. On the other hand, it is being shown that the creature has also left the house. After scaring one man, he took his clothes. And after scaring the other man, he took his car. He wanted to enjoy the open air of the world. He was roaming on the streets. When he found Lisa on the street, she was going to her friend's house. This creature made Lisa sit in his car and brought her to her friend's house. When he arrived, he discovered that her sister was also at her friend's house. Lisa was very angry to see this. And to take revenge for Lisa. The creature attacked Lisa's friend. He killed him by cutting his body. And now he is going to attack Lisa's sister. But Lisa stops him. After which the creature took his car and left. Lisa took her sister and came out of her friend's house. While following the creature. Lisa also came to the graveyard. 
After arriving here, Lisa's sister, having gotten a chance, ran away. At this time, Lisa thinks that the creature has trapped her badly. She has committed three murders, and the blame will go to Lisa. In her anger, she considers killing this creature. She was coming to attack him from behind. But finally, she couldn't kill him. Because he was her only friend, she tells this creature that she likes him very much. After this, the people at home, Lisa once again stitches this man's body parts. And again, they give him shock treatment. Now the creature looks very happy. He makes Lisa wear a ring and marries her. In the same night, it is discovered that to catch Lisa, the police have come to the house. But Lisa doesn't want to go to jail. She always wanted to stay with this creature. And there was only one way for Lisa to die. She goes to the tanning bed, turns it on at full heat, and dies in a few moments after being burnt. In the last scene of the story, it is shown that Lisa's dad and sister came to her grave to pray. Lisa's sister notices that on her grave is written, Beloved wife, quote, they leave from here, and here we see the creature on a bench, reading a book, but in the beginning, he didn't have a tongue, and Lisa hasn't fixed anyone's tongue with him. It means that the creature killed someone and took his tongue, after which he became completely human. He has wrapped Lisa in his lap, which means he also brought Lisa back to life. And now these two are going to spend this life together. And showing all this, the story ends here.